NASA took a serious note and said that it has received a strange signal from a nearby star, which could possibly be a reply to our old message sent two decades ago. Researchers picked up what they are saying possible signs of life beyond Earth in the form of mysterious electromagnetic signals. They did not rule out possible radio interference. They said it was unlike anything they'd seen before. NASA's Voyager 1 has traveled farther into space than any other man-made spacecraft. Launched in 1977 to explore Jupiter and Saturn, it has been venturing through space for 45 years, now exploring areas beyond our solar system. This long journey has sparked our curiosity about what lies beyond. Voyager 1 has been sending back information longer than any other spacecraft and is now transmitting from beyond the solar system. However, recently it received three back-to-back -back strange signals that baffled NASA engineers. These signals were different from anything the spacecraft had ever sent before, even after more than 10 years beyond the heliosphere. Scientists now believe these signals are a response from a star located 30 light years away, answering a message we sent two decades ago. This unexpected reply has left scientists both excited and nervous, as it could represent our first contact with an extraterrestrial civilization. Let's find out what we just heard and how the Voyager spacecraft finally accomplished this remarkable feat. When Voyager 1 launched 45 years ago to explore the outer planets of our solar system, no one could have predicted its lasting impact. Remarkably, the probe has stayed operational far beyond its expected lifespan and continues to send valuable information about its travels back to Earth. Right now, the Voyager 1 spacecraft is very far from Earth and moving at remarkable speed in the interstellar medium. With its current velocity clocking in at approximately 38,000 miles per hour, the spacecraft is projected to be approximately 176 astronomical units away from the Sun, equivalent to about 24 light hours. At its current speed, it would require approximately 300 years to traverse the inner boundary of the Oort cloud, and after that the probe will go into orbit around the galactic center, with no scheduled encounters with anything until about 40,000 years, when it passes within 1.6 light years of a star named Gliese 445. Despite this relatively close proximity, Gliese will merely appear as another star, not that Voyager could see it. All of its electronics and the radioisotope thermoelectric generators are long dead, hovering near the equilibrium interstellar temperature about 3 Kelvin. Alan Cummings, who worked on the Voyager project, said, Once Voyager 1 loses power and communications, it will continue to travel. I think it will go on for a billion years. There is nothing to stop it. During its long journey, Voyager 1 has encountered some fascinating phenomena in interstellar space, like the humming sound it detected after entering the interstellar medium. But wait, recently astronomers have received some strange signals from a nearby star, and they are claiming that these signals could be the answer to our 25-year-old messages. By using a new machine learning operated algorithm, a team of scientists from the University of Toronto has recently detected eight new radio signals, originating from five nearby stars. The experts argue that the possibility that other advanced civilizations might use them as techno-signatures to communicate with us should not be excluded. The researchers developed a deep learning algorithm to organize data from telescopes by weeding out human-made interferences to allow astronomers to focus on real patterns coming from distant areas in the universe and then look for patterns which could provide evidence that such signals could be technologically generated. By using this groundbreaking algorithm, the scientists examined over 150 terabytes of data from 820 nearby stars. However, the eight signals recently detected through this technique 
resemble quite closely what astronomers expect extraterrestrial signals to look like. Study co-author Steve Croft, a project scientist at Breakthrough Listen, says, First, they are present when we look at the star and absent when we look away, as opposed to local interference, which is generally always present. Second, the signals change in frequency over time in a way that makes them appear far from the telescope. However, scientists were unable to detect the radio signals again through follow-up observations. On the other hand, a group of scientists from the University of California, Los Angeles, speculate that aliens may have intercepted signals sent by the probe in 2002, and the recently detected signals could be return messages from them. In 2002, NASA sent a routine radio transmission to the Pioneer 12 probe, which was a standard procedure to collect data and maintain communication with the spacecraft. Normally, when we send these signals, they don't just stop at the probe. They continue to travel outward into space, and one of these signals managed to reach a star located approximately 27 light-years from Earth. Some scientists believe that this signal might have been intercepted by extraterrestrial life forms near that distant star. The scientists are excited because these new signals are believed to be a response to the 2002 transmission. If this is true, it means that an alien civilization detected our message and decided to reply, marking a historic moment for humanity. So, are these recent messages really from aliens? Well, some scientists think the likely answer is no. It's because a recent research suggests that if aliens were to contact us, it probably wouldn't happen before 2029. According to the study published in the publications of the Astronomical Society, the researchers found that transmissions sent to Voyager 2, Pioneer 10, and Pioneer 11 have already come into contact with at least one star. Pioneer 10's transmissions encountered a white dwarf star in 2002, and the team estimates that the earliest return transmission or alien contact could arrive by 2029. Well, the source of the strange signals we've recently detected is still a mystery. We don't yet know if these signals are a response to messages we sent more than two decades ago, or just random natural interference. The question remains open as scientists continue to investigate. In the end, I want to say that Voyager 1 is quietly completing its never-ending journey in space. When the sun runs out of fuel in about 5 billion years, all living species, mountains, seas, and forests will have disappeared long before its expected destruction. It will be as if we and all the amazing and extraordinary beauty of planet Earth never existed. But amazingly at that time, the Voyager spacecraft will still be floating in space awaiting discovery by an advanced alien civilization for whom the messages on the golden records were intended. Only those records will likely remain as testimony and legacy of Earth, a kind of objective immortality.